previously on My Farming Life. Welcome back to My Farming Life. It is a beautifully crisp, frosty, wintry morning here at the end of December. Hey, look at all this stuff. We're going to be going pretty quickly as soon as the weather will permit in January. This is the Massey Ferguson 5S145. It's about a year and a half old. Uh, the new ground becomes ours tomorrow, well, in the next few days. Uh, and we will be in there probably in about a week's time. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to My Farm and Life. Hope you're doing very, very well. It is January. January the 4th, so happy new year if you're watching this. Who knows by the time this comes out and by the time you're watching it, it may well be the middle of April, but I hope you're all doing very well. You join us this morning. I am just loading up Bungle here with about, I don't know, uh, maybe half a dozen, 10 bales of round bales of straw that we're going to be uh, hauling off to a uh, local farmer who we know who is desperately short, unfortunately. Um, and we are in a position where we're, we're managing. We're doing okay. And we can afford to spare... Like I say, about uh, 10 to a dozen bales of straw there. So we're helping them out. You know, one good deed uh, is paid by another. So uh, we'll see how we get on. Uh, what we just need to do is squeeze through here as the uh, the window is left open on the telehandler. And it's sending bushes everywhere. But uh, what we need to do is just continue to load this up on the new Stuart trailer. Bungle is all attached. He's very happy. He's going out in his massy. We haven't really done much re uh, on the farm apart from feed cattle for the last week because it's been New Year and all that good stuff. So and we've been hanging around waiting really for the most part. So today, and I'm going to be very careful of that uh, overhead line. It's on the other side of the, of the road, so we should be good. Um, we're going to try and get a bit of groundwork started. We're going to be on the new ground. We're going to be spreading some muck uh, that we need to get spread out there so we can um, get ready to start plowing the, the cover crop that we put down on some of the ground over there and then also start to get ready to spring barley on the new block of land which is now technically ours so we really want to get after that uh, and so that's exactly what we're going to do I'm going to be taking down my Massey Bungle here is going to come down once he's finished carting away this bale of straw, or this load of straw uh, and then that'll be good for us just to get going and we can hopefully get a little bit of fuel work done it's frosty this morning so that's why we're going down now uh, make the most of the hard frost that we have uh, and then crack on there and see what we can get covered off. So that's the plan, at least. Uh, there's plenty of muck to be spread across all of our grounds. The slurry separator that we've had now for best part of what, three weeks is churning out the stuff. It's absolutely incredible how much that's making. So that's really good. Uh, we are trying to get some solar panels put on soon because, uh, you know, we run it pretty much all day. So I don't want us to be uh, continually paying for electricity bills if we don't have to. So that is what we're going to look into there now. I'm just going to get this all loaded up. Like I said, I need to pay a bit of attention to this because there are power lines there and I do not want to yank those out anytime soon. So we'll have to just take our time and uh, get this all done and dusted and then we can send Bungle on his way. He hasn't got a very far trip to go, but, you know, be nice and comfortable for him in his 5S there. And then we, at some point, we're going to try and get the plow onto his tractor as well, the 5 furrow plow, and just see how it handles it all so we can, uh, we can get ready to use that more in the long term. Uh, but yeah, really, that's us. That's going to be it. Uh, maybe one more on each side there. So we'll get a few things strapped down. And then we'll get this man away. All right, well, let's get him on his way. All right, you're strapped in. Get yourself away. Uh, and then I guess, are you... Do you want me to bring down my Massey? We'll start spreading. And then you can just bring the telehandler down when you're ready. All right, that'll be grand. I'll, uh, I'll probably be an hour or so. An hour? You can do down there, push these off yourself. Wait, you need to have a catch up with them. All right, fine. You, you do you. Uh, get yourself away then, because I, I need to get myself turned around and we'll we'll get going. Right up. All right, get him out of here. Well, the last one's kind of on a bit of a skew, but it's on and he's off. That's all I need. So we'll just get this moved over here and then. Put these guys quickly. All right. And away we go. So otherwise, yeah, like I say, not much happened over the last few days. We've just been doing some bits and pieces, phone calls, planning meetings around the new shed building, that kind of stuff. Nothing that really needs too much documenting. But the good news is that we will be going with the shed building later this week. 
Uh, ground crew coming in apparently to start, which is fantastic news. I'm really excited by that. And it's going to be great to finally get some things in progress. Uh, I've left my tractor square in the middle of the yard there. Uh, you'll see there's a spreader on the back here. Again, it's not ours. It is just hired in, but it's a nice one. I really like this. It is the NC spreader. Uh, it's very nice and shiny. Uh, it's not full full because, well, we're going to take it down on the road. And I don't want to be spilling muck out the sides of it. But it's, yeah, it's great. Uh, I'm going to take this off because we're going to put them... Probably go with a bucket, I think, actually. Sometimes I find it easier to load up with a bucket and makes less mess. Uh, so we will do that. Ooh, you... There you go. But yeah, we're all set up and ready to go. It's very shiny. Look, it's barely got a speck on it, which I love to see. Um, hired this one in for a few, for the best part of a week, really, because we've got a lot to do. And I don't know if we'll get it all done. And with the weather, we'll have to see. And we're, like I mentioned, we are relying on the, the weather gods and also frost, but we'll see. Uh, as I mentioned, ground crew coming in soon. You're going to start to see something big and impressive coming in here. Well, well not as huge. It's not as big as the shed over there, but it's going to be a, a big change up. That's the main thing. So it's going to be pretty cool. And this thing is working like an absolute beast. Like I say, there's probably another load now. We've already unloaded one trailer load out. But it keeps churning away. We're, we haven't put any more slurry into here. But this is starting to get a bit of a crust. So we do need to keep that working to try and prevent that crust from forming. But that's not a problem for me right now. We are going to head over here. Uh, stick my lights on. Put me into forward. And we're off. We're off down to Bellum here where we can get ourselves going. Uh, I might end up having to come back, I think, and load up again, which we can do. And then we will uh, wait for Bungle because if he's going to be an hour, I ain't got an hour to play with. Uh, but we'll see. Busy, busy, busy. Oh, there's another car coming there. There you go. Now we go. Uh, like I said, we have a lot to do uh, groundwork-wise coming up. We need to really get cracking with the spring barley down at Bellum and Manor Farm here. Uh, and then there's a, a, a bit to go in at Moor Farm. There's also quite a lot of work to do for Sugar Beep uh, that we need to think about there as well. So lots for us to do, really, and, and get ahead of. So as soon as we can get going here, that was a plan to get the ground turned over at the very least. And then we can try and see what it looks like after that. So I think... Right now, at least, we should be in a position for the next few days with a nice hard frost in the morning that we can begin to get the muck spread on at least and then hopefully get the plowing down here as well. Uh, after that, well, it'll be up for, we probably won't get to drill it for a, little, a month or so. It's not quite warm enough yet to do that, uh, but we'll see. Uh, but at least we can get going. That's the main thing. All right, in we go. Behind us, looking good. Trying not to make too much mess. Uh, that's always the important thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this fella's got a huge crop of weeds on the go. Um, we won't be taking any more land on down here this year, but likely we'll be taking on quite a bit of it in the next year. Uh, so this time next year, 12 months time, we'll be taking on a good few fields down here. So that's really going to see us going and get us cracking along there. Uh, down here. What am I seeing over here? I could be wrong. That looks like a fire engine. Why is there a fire engine on my track? Oh. Well, isn't this lovely? Oh, there's a guy there. Let's go and have a chat with him. With this fireman, see what's going on. That is not well parked, and it's not ours. That's weird. Hi there, how are you? Good morning, sir. I'm James, the fireman on duty here. How are you? Uh, I am all right. I'm confused, I'll be honest. I'm not sure what is, uh, what's going on here, but what's that? What you can tell me. Yes, indeed. We've got ourselves a car crash. These two vehicles were involved in illegal poaching, and were chased by the police last night. Unfortunately, one ended up crashing here. Uh, one of them ended up crashing here, you say? The other one? Well, the other one is even more in your way. It's right in the middle of your field over the hill there. Oh, of course it is. It's in, it's in my field. Brilliant. Okay. Love that. I'm assuming we're going to be... Or the police are looking after the individuals in question? Absolutely, sir. But right now, our priority is clearing up this mess and ensuring everyone's safety. 
We need to get these vehicles out of here so you can carry on with your day. Yeah, we'll get past that one. But what about the other one? Can, do you need my help to shift it? Or is that all... Have you got that under control? Actually, yes. Since one of the vehicles ended up in your field, we'll need your assistance with that. We'll have to get it onto its wheels before extracting it without causing further damage. Get it onto its wheels? Oh, you'll see when you get over there. Okay, sounds fun. Uh, if you don't mind backing out of the way, and then uh, I'll I'll probably tip this load here that I have behind me, or spread it, and then I will head back and bring my telehandler down so we can try and get some things cleared up here. How's that sound? Thank you, sir. Your cooperation is much appreciated. Of course, perfect. Well, thanks very much, uh, James. It is. Yep, perfect. I will. Uh, I'll see you in a bit. Poachers. I bet that's stolen from somebody as well. Probably guarantee it. All right. Anyway, let's just get ourselves through here. Change down. Oh, he's gone already. Good lord. Okay. So we got the separator manure, manure from our um, slurry separator. We're going to spread this. The idea was that today, or before this at least, we'll get on whilst the the frost was good and clear some of the heap that we've already carted down here. But what I think's going to happen now. Thank you. Thank you, James. Uh, what well, I think we're probably going to do now is we'll take this back up. We'll fill it up whilst we're back up there. We'll bring the tele the telehandler down with a grab on it. Uh, and then we can, um, well, try and shift this vehicle wherever it is. I don't know what, what he's quite referring to, but oh, now I do. <laughs> All right. What a treat. Uh, one thing I've noticed is the gates around here are absolutely banjaxed as well. We're going to have to fix those. I don't know why Uncle put these ones in, but... That one opens up the wrong way. Um, uh, it's also the bottom rail is knackered on it. So we're going to have to look into that. A train! Maybe they can feast at the sculpture they've left us in the middle of this field. Oh, God. Well, let's try again. We will just creep. I think we're probably going to have to... This is a little uh, meteorological office or like a, um, an environmental station. I think it's probably the best way to describe it. I don't really see people down here. I think a lot of it's remote these days, but they do come down and take measurements and sensors. One of the reasons they used to do it here is a lot is because there was an open cast on the other side of that train line for a while. Uh, for several, well, best part of a decade. So that's why they'll just take in the missions and things like that. Uh, but anyway... I guess we'll go and start on the other side of that big old, uh, big old mess and see what we can do here. Poaching is one of those things that you can't really control or get on top of, unfortunately. It just, it's so difficult. And I mean, fair play for them actually being able to try and apprehend somebody because that's not easy in and of itself. Uh, all right, we're going to need that bit of that. That's my GPS in now. I've got my back door open. We're going to scale down our speed here a little bit. And we're our way. So the, the, the separated slurry that we're putting in here is like really just dry, uh, quite dry matter. It's uh, been wrung out. So it's like slurry, but it's, it, it really squ squishes and squashes and presses the slurry. So you get all the liquid out there. So it's all the dry uh, material left over. And it works into the ground very, very well. This here was cultivated over from stubble. And what we'll end up doing here is probably giving this a bit of a tickle over actually with a cultivator. Uh, and then we'll be able to uh, drill straight into it. We're going to try and demo a few cultivators this year to see which one we like the most um, for this job. So I'll be really curious to see how that works out. And then what we'll find, I still can't, as I look here, I can't believe that car, it's incredible. Um, it should incorporate in and give us a nice organic uh, matter and, and dry matter into the ground for the next crop coming in there. So that is what we're hoping to see. Uh, and, you know, we'll just have to keep cracking along there. It's still got a bit of a uh, bit of heat to it, which you would expect. But overall, I am, I'm quite impressed. We're putting it on quite thick because, like I say, it is quite dry there. So it will take our time through here. Uh, and we weren't fully loaded either because it's just... It's not worth making a mess through the village. Not first thing on the, on the what is it, a Tuesday morning. No, oh, thank you. And all right, we'll be good to go. I think we're probably... Uh, it's working down there. It's working down maybe about just over two thirds. I think that's an old Golf. Look at that thing. The Mark II Golf. Oh, they were rockets of a machine. 
But I think what they'll be doing down here as well is hair coursing. Unfortunately, that's why the cars will be in here or unless the police drove them in. Um, and then they'll steal them from somewhere. And then when they're about to get caught, they'll just bail and, and leave them there, unfortunately. Uh, but what that does mean is somebody is going to have to come and collect that. Now, what I'm hoping I can do with the telehandler is maybe flip it onto its wheels and push it a bit. But we will... Well, we'll see. We will see. I uh, didn't expect to be doing that one this morning when I uh, when we set the plan up for the day. But here you go. Yeah, you can see it's quite fine. Doesn't seem to be making too much, too many big lumps on the on the ground. But like I say, we're going to look into a few different uh, cultivating options so we don't have to plow every year. Uh, we have a lot of ground and plow in this part of our rotation, particularly when we're going to be putting in sugar beet uh, at some stage or another. But if we can get away from doing it every year, I will be more than keen to do that one. So we'll have to see how it plays out. Um, I'm going to finish up spreading this one though and then we'll go and bring the telehandler down and see what we can do about Dumb and Dumber's car over there and uh, we'll go from there Alright, Thunderbird 2 to the rescue here we're coming down to with the forks on see if we can just shift this um, car out of the way without causing any more damage or spillages or anything like that I uh, would love to not have any oil seeping into my field on day one of, uh, of reclaiming it so that wouldn't be ideal uh, but we'll see what we can do anyway and see how that goes. Buddy boy, I imagine is just going to be up here uh, chilling again. I don't know what he's waiting for. Maybe like a truck to arrive or something. Oh, no. Anyway, there he is. Um, let's see. That cover crop came through well. It's looking really good. Really pleased with the ideas uh, that we're bringing in around that as well, by the way. I think it's working very, very well for our land and my ideas moving forward. Uh, let's just sneak into here and uh, gonna try and flip this lovely old golf back onto its wheels because why wouldn't it be upside down in the middle of a field? Um, it could have been in any other field of mine, but it's got a plumbing train line passing it as well. Just be my luck that a bunch of farmers are on there looking in, guarantee it. Uh, okay, all right then. I mean, this is a bit, a bit ropey. Been better days for sure. And I'm sure they just steal this, drive around till it's wrecked or till they get busted and then steal something else and do it again. Um, I mean, I've probably taxed worse in the past, but it's still not great. All right, so we'll try and flip up and we'll see how that works out for everybody involved. Uh, oh, yeah, another train. Good. They can watch what's happening as well. Uh, okay. I wonder if the old fellas over at the uh, over at Maiden's Hall there saw what happened last night. I heard the commotion. I'm sure they probably did. Uh, I really want to flip it down that way, or do I want to flip it? Maybe we'll do it the other way. Yes, push it, push it towards the exit, not away from it. That will work. Washington's quite uh, uh, quite hard, so we can travel. This would be a right nightmare, and the mess would have caused as well. Okay. I even oh easy we've got it we've got it oh <laughs> look at that i'm in the wrong line of business here to be in vehicle recovery and then can i push it not too much to ask maybe let's find out here Oh. I might just do it, you know. We've we've got something going. John Deere doesn't like it too much, but it's moving it. We'll take it. Easy now. Easy now. All right, really testing the torque converter on this to the max. But anyway, I'll get close to the edge of the field. So I guess whenever recovery trucks will ever arrive, they can get going. And we can also get the rest of this field done as well, which will be brilliant. Um, what a way to start your day. Tuesday morning could be better. Uh, could not be better. I wonder, see, because of the way uncle's put that blooming gate in. 
gonna ruin us for a few things here i think let's even just spin it around oh this is working a bit well We're going to try and get it through this gateway and then we'll see what we need to do next. For the first time in ages, I wake up and don't hate it. I guess I found some peace. Through the day to the evening, without shouting and screaming, something new. I've got bad news for whoever owned this um after what i've been doing to it it's probably never going to drive again without a lot of money being spent on it i wonder if i can just scoop it up to slide it to the other side here because it is banging away have i got that oh <laughs> look at this go look at this go what about that not that i get to do that is it Perfect. I don't think I dare try that in there because it's still I'm not sure whether it uh, traveled very well. But needless to say, we, we have done so now. And what I might do is just take it a little bit further up the track there. So that we can actually get this taken out of the way. I think that'll be a good plan. Uh, and at least that way then we're all safe. All right, I can't really see a thing, but I'm sure I'm sure it's fine. Take a time. Surprisingly light and nimble. I loved these cars back in the day. These were absolutely phenomenal. Uh, not great field ornaments, but really, really nice cars. Anyway, uh, John did tell you handle the saves today. Wouldn't have been able to do this with the old JCB, that's for sure. Oh, you dare, you dare. So somewhere over here is our man James. We'll have a see what he wants to do, and then uh, we might get this all tied up and get ourselves away. Lord knows what we'll do with the other one. I guess we'll have to figure that one out at some stage. But let me uh, just stop down here. I got one of them sorted out for you. Is that all right? Oh, that is perfect. Yes. If you wouldn't mind holding that there for a minute or two, our recovery truck is almost here. Yeah. All right. I will. Um I'll probably just swing around past you there, I reckon, uh, so we can get in, and then we'll get it sorted out. Excellent. Sounds great. Oh, that's decent timing, I suppose. Uh, I can't see him. I'm assuming he's next to my truck. Don't hit him, don't hit him, don't hit him. Again, testimony to the cover crop given a nice solid dry surface to uh drive a telehandle in a car onto. Lovely. So whilst we wait, all of this up here is gonna be going into Spring Barley, all four fields. The idea being that we'll just have one block that we can work in over here. Uh so that should be happening very well next month or so, weather permitting, which is always the big if. Uh and then after that, well, it's just gonna be a few fields of spring barley and some beans over um both and uh, more farm then we'll we'll be good to go so making some good good strides i would say uh this is looking good the idea of the cover crop as well was just to stop or limit soil erosion because these roots here will really kick in and hold everything together also break up compaction a little bit there too and also hopefully provide us with a little bit of a boost in nitrogen as well so that's all pretty good pretty handy oh all right well we're good 
Let's uh, see what this is going to look like. I'll get ready to go and I guess he's going to shuffle back a bit. Let's see. Can't see where we're at here, but maybe if I just move back ever so slightly. I don't know about you, but when I was thinking recovery truck, I picture something bigger than a transit van with a flatbed. Anyhow, if this will work, it'll be a minor miracle. Let's find out. And then we'll be all done in theory. Uh, it's a short wheelbase van as well. That could have been better. Uh, oh, well, I think we'll get that on. It's got legs. All right, and then I think we'll just drop her down. He says. Oh, not quite. I think we're on the edge. It's on. It's on. That's all I'm doing. It's on. All right. Well, there you go, folks. Uh, in today's video that was supposed to be about muck spreading and seeing how we're getting going with the yard work, I have loaded a field ornament of a flipped VW Golf onto the back of a flatbed. Uh, and with that, I think we'll leave it here. Can't wait to see what Bungle thinks of this when he eventually shows up. Uh, and then we will take it from there. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed today's episode of My Farming Life. Uh, we'll get back to farming at some point. I'm sure of it. Uh, until then, though, thank you very much for watching. Do stay safe. Enjoy what you're doing. If you have so enjoyed this episode and you yet to do so, do consider dropping a comment or leaving a thumbs up and subscribe for more from me, Simulation Full Nation. Until next time, catch you later.